All right, everyone, I am very sorry for the delay as I do have my own business to run and just family. You know, I got a wife and kids, so it's been very difficult to be able to get all that in and have golf class time, too. So I do apologize, but, you know, some things just have to come first. But anyways, we're going to look at holes 15 and 16 here. What I did is max topspin, two left spin. We're going to just plus 10% at max using P5 numbers. Once we adjust, we're going to push up to max and then max overpower. So you will see that we get a nice distance on this. One thing I forgot to add is I would highly recommend using a P5 win zero ball if you have it. I did clip the rough one time. It was an extra mile seven, um, but even still, that's only, you know, one yard less. So there's two things that would recommend you using that. One is there's more of a crosswind angle, and two is if you get low wind with a zerk. So I would recommend using it if you do have it. And the EB chip is pretty simple there, is there's a funnel. And then we're going to look at hole 16. Here I'm using a P4 ball. You can use a P3 ball if you want and then push up. We are going to use two backspin with three right spin. And what we're going to look for is our second bounce on the fringe, like right at the fringe. And then the guide in the dark green row over and like right at the end of that. So once we find this position, we're going to adjust plus 35% at max. Here I do kind of get screwed with it not dropping. I feel like it did come in at a very good speed. And it kind of like takes a like glitch roll in this hole. So not really sure how that happened, but I would stick to that and hopefully you drop this and hit the pin maybe. So that's it for those holes.